Hi everyone, this is Teal from Parkerblocks.com. It has been a while since I reviewed any sketchbooks, so today I'm going to show you this sketchbook. This is the Arcademy sketchbook that I have showed you maybe a month or two ago, but that video uh, was just me talking about my first impression of the sketchbook and basically talking about some of the features. I have since filled this up to 80% so now I can give you a more accurate opinion about this sketchbook so let's take a closer look at it Academy is a brand created by a friend his name is James Lee so this is his new product and he wanted me to try it out so he sent me a review copy um, thanks very much because this is a very pricey sketchbook a very pricey watercolor sketchbook this is actually the most expensive sketchbook um, that I have ever used. So in terms of quality, I think it's pretty good, uh, but I'm going to talk more about that later on. The cover is made of real leather, full green, vegetable tan. It's quite thick actually, so it's very durable. And it's tanned in such a way that it's a bit hot. So it's not those soft cover sketchbook. This is actually quite hard. If you want to use this as a hard cover, if you want to stand and sketch, I think this cover is hard enough. So every cover would have this little strap that can help you close the cover together. This is quite handy. On the side here, there is a pen holder. And here, there is this little uh, bookmark. This is also made of leather. So let's take a look inside. There are 60 pages of Fabriano Rosa Pina paper. So this is um, not really watercolor paper, but it can handle watercolor quite well. 60% um, cotton content. Now the paper is off-white, so it's not 100% white. There's a cream color to it. I actually prefer white paper uh, compared to cream color paper or off-white paper because I just like the extra contrast and white paper, it tends to make colors a bit more vibrant. So as you can see here, there are decade edges here and also at the bottom. Now on this side, the edges are cut straight so no decade edges here and when you first open the sketchbook there is this Fabriano imprint right here I'm not sure how the paper is cut or torn but I think this is a nice format to draw on this is A5 so I actually brought this sketchbook to my Tokyo trip last week and I filled up about 80% of the sketchbook. Now while using it after a few days, well, um, this binding here, it actually came out. This is the first and second page and unfortunately, these two pages, they got separated from the third page. This page here is supposed to stick to this page here at this, um, at this edge here. But I think I pressed too hard. I wanted to draw across the double page and I pressed too hard and I think the glue here, it gave way. That's why this place, it um, split. So since it's split, I'm going to show you what's inside. The paper is actually stitched together at six places. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think some part of this is also glued to the edges here. Anyway, I'm going to send this back to James Lee, so he's going to repair this part. My sketchbook is now repaired after two weeks. So this is how it looks like, how it should look originally. So now they use more glue to stick these two pages together. As for the paper quality, this is actually not known as watercolor paper. This is a print making paper, but it can handle watercolor quite well. This is how granulating paints will look like on this paper. The surface has a very fine green texture, so I suppose this paper can be used for color pencils as well. 
I was able to get some beautiful granulation on this paper. This is cerulean blue chromium. The paper is also able to handle ink very well. The lines are very sharp, they do not feather and they do not bleed across the 220 GSM paper. The paper is not too dry so it can handle some forms of wet on wet. Some watercolor paper can be a bit dry so you need to use a lot of water but for this I think it's just the right amount of dryness. When I paint with my watercolor brush I do not have to reload my brush that often so that's quite convenient. For example, here in this sketch, I added a bit more red to the new gumbosh to give it some variation. So the colors, they spread very nicely outwards. I still have a few more pages in this sketchbook, so I'm going to fill them up with sketches and maybe talk more about the quality of the sketchbook in other videos. For this two-page spread, I see that the stitching here this is not as tight as it should be so there is this gap here it should look something like this so this is slightly loose i think it only happens for this two page and here it looks fine so where the signatures are there is this gap there they should be a bit tighter so now I'm going to give you a quick list of pros and cons for this sketchbook and also tell you what I like and dislike about this. Now the main thing about this sketchbook is the paper, the Fabriano Rosa Spina paper which is quite versatile. It's a printmaking paper but it's good for watercolor and mixed media. The cover on this sketchbook is full green leather. This is quite thick, it's quite hard and this is very durable. During my trip in Tokyo, I took this sketchbook in and out of my bag many times. Every time I would just throw this sketchbook into my bag and there is absolutely no damage at all, no evidence of wear and tear. In fact, I think for leather, if you have some scratches, it actually makes it more unique and it would actually season the leather. So this is very, this is a very durable hard cover. Now when sketching with this sketchbook on location, the first few pages, they are not going to be open uh, wide. I can still see some angles. So this is not completely flat. As you work towards the center, the sketchbook is able to open a bit flatter. So as mentioned earlier in the review, the binding, can certainly be improved so i guess the only downside for this would be the binding could be improved i know it can be quite scary to see the binding open up in the first few minutes of the video but i guess that's also some part of it as my fault anyway overall i think it's quite good quality except for the slight issue with the binding it could be improved overall I think it's quite a quality sketchbook. It's very pricey. So am I going to buy this in the future? Well, I would have to wait and see how this ladder is going to hold up. If I store this in my bookshelf, because this is ladder, it will need some sort of conditioning. You probably have saw or watched some of my earlier videos where I talked about mold problems attacking my sketchbook and my watercolor paint. So I'm going to see if the mold is going to attack this sketchbook. I actually have other sketchbooks where the mold, they do not attack the sketchbook covers for some reason. I think those covers, they were treated to prevent mold growth. So I'm not too sure about this. I have to wait that out. Anyway, I'm going to post a text review for this sketchbook. So if there is, if there are going to be any updates, I will update the text review. You can check that out in the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.